we had some rain today, so I figure it's a good day to give a little update on all my projects. Um, wasn't too bad of a storm. I got about a quarter inch of rain and uh, pretty warm and not too much wind. Unlike the last storm, which was very cold and uh, extremely windy. Wind gusts can be 50, 60, 70 miles an hour here. Uh, I didn't get any of those recently, but they were sustained winds of about 30 miles an hour for about six hours straight. And that wiggled off all the plywood of my shed. <laughs> so as you can see, the shed is still standing. It's just the plywood sheeting came off. I came out during the storm and uh, knocked, knocked back all the nails. And uh, what did fall down, I put back on. But uh, there's one sheet here. Uh, it was a full 4 by 8 sheet, and uh, I don't remember how I put it up first time, but <laughs> it came tumbling down on me, so um, I'll have to refigure that. Uh, maybe, maybe hold it with a rope or something. I'm going to put stucco on my shed, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. I'm not sure what would have happened with all the stucco when the wind, <laughs> when the wind blew the walls off. <laughs> Um, as you can see, there's a lot of garbage around. Um, a combination between the goats um, spreading my trash around and the wind. Uh, I've got a lot of trash to pick up. <laughs> I have to figure out a better system. I've got a lot of wild animals. I uh, haven't built something that they can't get in and spread my trash around. But this panel that was torn off of my RV wasn't the wind at all. My goat decided to do that one. Unfortunately, they seem to like chewing on wires. Well, looks like some of my concrete got wet. We'll see if this bag is usable. I only have two bags in here left, so it won't be a huge loss. And that's the reason why I didn't buy a whole pallet. If you buy at least 40 bags, I think the concrete is cheaper per bag, even including delivery fees. But the rain comes in sideways here. Uh, no amount of tarping will keep that pallet of concrete dry. For now, I'm just buying, I don't know, one day's worth at a time, 10 bags, 15 bags at a time. And um, if they do get wet, like these two, ah, what is that? 15 bucks lost. So for my foundation, as you can see, I wrapped around the corner and I'm working on side two. More of the same. I didn't make a tremendous amount of progress because it's been cold and I don't want to damage this concrete with uh, freezing weather. And as you can see, um, I'm going to put in a middle section. So my foundation will be like a figure eight, basically. I'll have the four outer walls, but then one centerpiece in the foundation to hold up my ridge line. But I've just made uh, accommodations for it. As you can see, I have the rebar here. But uh, I'll probably do this at the end. Um, I'll put up the four outer walls and I can lay this center part of the foundation when I'm ready. And my beer is still fermenting. Um, it's been cold. I think uh, daytime highs are in the 60s. High 50s, low 60s. It looks like it's settling a little bit, which is nice. But that's still a pretty thick beer, so... When it's done fermenting, I expect I'll have to filter it a little bit, but I'll just run it through a cloth, a pillowcase, or whatever I have. I've got this small goat pen. Uh, it measures 20 feet by 20 feet with a small 4x8 shed there to keep them out of the rain and warm at night. Um, they don't stay in here forever. I, la I only use this to keep them safe at night and when I go somewhere or when I'm filming on video. These, <laughs> uh, there's no way these goats will allow me to film. They'll nudge the camera or me when I'm filming. You can see this little lady is, uh, this little lady is uh, very pregnant, but I don't know when she's due. I don't know when she was bred. So, could be another couple weeks, I'm guessing. But nothing to do but wait. Uh, winter time is when my rabbits breed and they are eating a lot that's for sure so so I'm trying to harvest them as fast as I can 
the chickens are doing well. Um, but not laying in the winter. So I guess I would need artificial light, but off grid here I don't really have any way of doing that. Although that does sound like an egg laying song. So maybe I'll get an egg. And that's just a quick little update on the various projects I have going in case any of you were wondering. And I'll see you in the next video.